Hi, today we're making this. Been having trouble to sleep now for a couple of nights. Need to rebuild myself to come alive. It all makes sense now. Not at the lights out. It's a different world to me. It makes me feel down. First I went to this website, and downloaded this speaker PNG image. You can search for free images to download what you like to go with. Then I imported this in Adobe Photoshop, and cut it into parts. See the layer names, here we have all the parts cut on separate layers which we want to use. Then save this image as a Photoshop PST file. Now we are in Adobe After Effects, I'll right click on Project Panel, and click Import. Choose the Photoshop file you just made. And make sure to choose these options. Then click Import. See these settings as well. Also import other files you want to use. Click on the small icon and create a composition. See the settings. I will make it around 30 or 45 seconds, just for the tutorial. Drop the image and music on your timeline. Right click and create a solid with white color. Name it as Spectrum. Drag and drop audio spectrum effect on this solid from the effects panel. To make it easy for you, let me quickly rename these layers. In the audio spectrum effect, select music layer. Replicate these settings like me. They are totally random because every music has different settings when it comes to making visualizers. Because of different sounds. I think this should work fine. I was wondering if we could make it rectangular at the bottom instead of round shape. We can mask out the top part so the bottom part will be square. Select the rectangle shape while layer is selected and draw a mask. Adjust it according to the image. Search for mirror effect and drop it on this layer. Mirrored spectrum look much better than one-sided long bars. Let's drag and drop gradient tramp effect on this layer. Choose some good colors. Now duplicate the spectrum layer. 
in this layer, change the settings like I'm doing. Now we have this cool looking line over the spectrum. Let's play. Looks good. Now select both spectrum layers and pre-compose them. Hit OK, make sure to turn off the speaker switch. Now duplicate the spectrum layer, and rename it as Shadow. Right click, go to Transform, and select Flip Vertical. Place it to the bottom of Spectrum. Drag and drop fill effect to the shadow layer. Make its color black. Now drag and drop directional blur effect on the shadow layer. Adjust it until it looks good to you. Let's apply Curves effect, see if it looks good or otherwise we'll delete this effect. Put Glow effect. Play with the settings, see if it is the thing you're going for. Alright, now drag and drop the speaker composition we made earlier. Double click it. Here select all the layers, go to edit, choose cut. Go to render composition and paste these layers. They are not in the sequence, so first let's put them in a sequence. Right click and create a null object. Rename it as speaker control. Place it over the speaker. Select all the speaker layers and attach them to speaker control. Now when you move the speaker control, all the speaker parts will follow the movement. Right click music layer, and choose convert audio to keyframes. It'll create this layer. Open it and delete the first two channels. Hold out button and click on the stopwatch. Now type this expression. Select reactor layer and open scale. Hold out button and click on the stopwatch. Now attach it to the slider. At the end of this code, type this expression. Looks good. Let's apply some keyframes to position and rotation. Looks cool. Select all layers related to speaker, right click and pre-compose them. Now make a duplicate. Right click, choose flip horizontal, place it to the other side.
pretty much done but one extra thing left, see I want the moving tire. So here I duplicate the car image, and mask out the tire on the duplicate. Then applied some rotation keyframes to the tire image, and there you have your moving tire. To make the smoke, see my previous video I have done similar thing. I hope you enjoyed, if yes then do these things, I'll get back with another cool video, till then, goodbye.